Hello once again YouTube land. It's like four something in the morning. I really shouldn't be making this this time, but I thought I'd do a quick Sun uh, X2200 M2 update with an internal look at the server itself, possibly. Um, okay, so here's a couple of hard drives that I tried, and neither of them will allow the machine to turn on for more than a split second if I plug it into the 44 pin IDE interface that the optical drive is supposed to plug into. Turns out that Sun was smart and decided, oh, we're just going to use our own pin pattern here so that you must use our optical drive thing. I tried this one and I had to break off the sides to try it. And no, it doesn't work. This one's out of a power edge. Yeah, it, it don't work. No work, senor. No, 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 no. So, this is all nice and set out and happy now with 64 gigs of RAM. And uh, I'm going to be fucking around with it. This is the heart, This is the DVD drive that I want to pop in it when I do get it. This is just a regular DVD drive out of a HP NC4200. And it's just a normal DVD drive. Nothing special about it. So I thought what I'd do for you guys, since I'm over on the side and I'm still awake and... Uh, about to go to bed, I'll give you an internal look at the thing while it's running. Now, mind you, I'm going to have to put this down for just a moment, so if you'll just bear with me for just a moment while I move this crap off it. It's about to get very loud very fast. Three, two, one. Come on. It's a bit hard to take off when it's, uh, There we go. All 64 gigs of RAM. Ain't it pretty? Let's focus. Yeah. That's nice and pretty right there. If I ever saw it. Also put a heatsink on the Broadcom NIC. It's staying pretty warm now. Not really totally all too happy or not. Um, there is one blown cap under this heatsink right here. Right here. So, right there. So I have to replace that at my next earliest convenience. I have a bag of them now. They are 4 volt, 680 microfarad capacitors, for anybody wondering. I'm saying this fairly loudly since uh, it's a bit hard to hear anything except for anything over me. And these fans are fairly loud. Yeah. Here's the power supply. You can pause that right there and uh, figure that out for yourself. Not to exceed 90 watt on on what? 3.3 and 5. Maximum is like 480 watts or something, if I remember correctly. This one's staying nice and icy chill. This one's also staying nice and icy chill now. That's Fairly interesting. But yeah, they're they're nice and icy cold. No problems. It's gonna be nice and better because now on order I have two Opteron 2373EEs. Which are like 50 watt or something or 60 watt TDP quad cores 45 nanometer. They're not too bad. It's going to be 2.1 gigahertz instead of 1.9, and I'm going to get a major boost in L3 cache, which I'm hoping will somewhat help when I pop Minecraft on this or something. Um, I'm going to get a Dell Perk 5i to stick in one of these X8 slots, and that's going to be the main card to run the hard drives. 
There's one Western Digital and one Seagate now. The Seagate is a 500 gig that I've had since 2008. It's had some issues, but it's okay. There are no reallocated sectors. Uh, just errors on it from a bad SATA cable, which was replaced around 2009. We won't get into that, though. Um, what's probably going to happen, if I can get the proper connector to hook onto this cable right here, I'm going to use that as the boot medium. If not, then I'm probably going to use one of these USB ports back here or something along the lines of one in the front or something because there are two in the front that are not being used at the moment. Um, my monitor is gone. It is over at my buddy's place. He has a, um, I wouldn't say a garage full, but a quarter garage full of IBM Personal System 2s, all of their MCA fun stuffs, and, um, mostly working hard drives from what I can see. And, um, there's also some compact Polinias, HP Vectras, deck boxes of Venturis, or Ventura, I think it's Venturis, whatever, the all, whatever their x86 line was at the time, early 90s. And, uh, yeah, so I get to fuck around with this in the meantime. And, um, there's also going to possibly be a compact SL... No, not SLT, I'm sorry. The SLT386 I have is going to be going to my buddy, and... Um, I will talk about that more later in another video, once it is all nice and packed up. Um, I'm going to probably be getting a compact Desk Pro 286 turn 386S20 and some stuff with that, and we'll see what happens. Um, I have a couple of friends coming from Ohio. There's going to be a video about that, so stay tuned for that, and uh, I think that's all I'm going to say on that. It may turn out that I'm going to hightail it back with them to Ohio, so there's going to be a lot more different videos on my YouTube channel because I'm going to be uploading videos nightly, most likely. Most likely. Don't take that for granted, because... You never know with me. I may just completely forget to do it and do it later on. But I'm going to try to upload videos nightly and see what happens and uh, hope for the best. So, with that said, I'm going to pop the cover back on. Give me a moment here. Because you're not supposed to run this topless for too long. As like all fine young women, you're not supposed to run around with them topless. Society frowns upon on, uh, on that. You know how that goes. I know a couple of you that have done it. Don't get me wrong. But whatever you do on your time is none of my business. Okay. Nice and happy. Let's move some shit back. Whatever. Alright, so. We're back. The lights have stopped being so much of a nuisance, but they are still pulsating. And I don't like that pulsating. It, it's driving me nuts. So I'm going to have to get those ballasts replaced and all that bullshit. And, uh, 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 uh. There's dead hard drives in a box. Dead hard drives in a box. Dead hard drives in a box. Take one out. Smash it around. There's still dead hard drives in a box. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to cut this video here, and, uh, hopefully you guys heard me over all the fan noise. I would really hope so. Um, this thing is on its way more so to become a, uh, data center machine again. And I also have to get rails. Oh my god, I need to get rails. Um, ooh. I have to change the water filters, too. Oh, my God. But enough about that. I'm going to cut this video off. So, I shall see you all next time. Or, you'll see me next time. Or not.